look, I understand as a coach, you, you've got to take everything into consideration. But but Cully can miss me with the penalty mm-hmm. talk. He can miss me with the interception talk coming out of halftime. Mm. There, there are teams every Sunday that overcome interceptions. There's teams every Sunday that overcome penalties. Hell, you had four penalties in the whole game. Last thing you should be worried about in a post-game press conference is the number of penalties that you had. Do you got to correct them? Yeah, but that's not when asked what happened. That's not a that's not a crutch, right? I mean, that's not what you that's that's not what you bring up first. And so David Culley can miss me with the penalty talk and the interception talk. And and I'll be honest with you, I, I watched that football game. Four minutes in, and he's already he can miss me. He, there's no question about it, Joe. I mean, I mean this this guy David Culley, the Houston Texans, not just David Culley. Look, the Houston Texans, defensively, they got they have guys that that can't play the most simplest coverage in the game. Cover two, they can't play. The most simplest coverage in the game, Why and, is it so simple? and the identity of their defensive coordinator. It's what you do. It's what he's done. It's cover two, man. Safety's got to be deeper than the deepest. You got half the field. You got two safeties deeper than the deep. Don't get beat deep, right? Your corners. You roll up. Yeah, you play the flats, but your eyes are inside. You know, you you you're aware of guys trying to throw the ball over you over your head uh, on the sideline, and so you're aware in certain situations. And and they have guys that that can't do those things. Now, in, in David Culley's defense, he did he did bring up guys reading their keys. But it, but it, this this isn't about interceptions, and this isn't about penalties. It's about guys that you're depending on that are veterans on this team not being able to play the simplest coverage that, that there is in the game. I mean, you, defensively, a 51-yard touchdown pass to Paris Campbell in the first quarter, cover two, got behind the safety, right? It's, it's, it's uh, Justin Reed. Paris Campbell got behind him. I don't care if it's a good design or not. It's cover two. You're deeper than the deepest. Don't let the guy get behind you, right? And if if that does happen, right, the head coach needs to talk about that, not reading my keys. No, we got beat deep. It's the simplest coverage in football. We can't – nobody in America is going to win games at high school, college, or the pro level if you're playing cover two and guys get over your head. Right after that, not what maybe two drives later, 52-yard bomb to T.Y. Hilton. Guess what that coverage was? You care to guess? Cover – Two? Cover two. And guess what? Got behind the safety again for a 52-yard game. That led to a field goal. There's 10 points. There's 10 points because you can't play cover two. Guess what? Yeah, you come out at half, you get the stop, and your, your quarterback throws interception. Unacceptable. has got to get fixed. No doubt about it. But as I said, every team, every Sunday overcomes. Look at the Cowboys. They overcame a, a fumble on the six-inch yard line by Dak Prescott in the first half. You look late. There was a pick six that Mac Jones threw that gave up the lead with under three minutes left in the game. Guess what? They came back and they tied the ball game up, right? Teams Dallas over- turned it over twice in That's the red it. zone. That's it. Show pe- people overcome four penalties. We talk about it all the time. Defensively, they can't do the simple thing savagely well. Yeah. You can't play cover two. And I'm talking about, guess who, I wasn't through yet, by the way. Oh, There's I'm a 28-yard touchdown after the interception to Mo Alley-Cox. Guess what that was? Guess what coverage that was? You care to guess? Cover two. Cover two. Now Terrence Mitchell's playing a hard corner and, and just giving a throw in the ocean on, on the, 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 the flag route to the sideline. And so you go, well, well we got four, four penalties and, and we threw an interception at a critical moment in the game. Why was that, why was that a critical moment in the game? Why were you losing? Because you couldn't play cover two defensively, right? You got a defense, key players on the defense, veteran players on this defense that that cannot play the, mo- the s- most simple coverage in the game. They can't play it. They can't even play it sound, much less really, really well. And so if you're going to step in a post-game press conference or even Monday after you watch a film, let's talk about the inability to play that coverage. Now, again, in his defense, he did say, well, guys can't read the keys. Show it's unacceptable, right? The, the interception's bad, not unacceptable. Right, it happens in the game. Watch, watch every game. It happens, right? Whether you got a rookie quarterback or a veteran quarterback, doesn't matter. That that stuff happens, right? Penalties, four penalties. Hey, penalties happen, man. You, th- those are those are things that happen that you're gonna have to deal with, right? You got to keep them in check, but you got to deal with them. What you can't do is not be able to play cover two when Lovey Smith is your defensive coordinator and you're a veteran. It can happen, right? So defensively, tell me about those guys. Mm. If you're going, if you're not gonna have to take say Davis Mills through an interception after in a critical moment in the game, how about we talk about Justin Reed not being able to play cover two Twice. in a critical moment in the game that that dug the hole that you were in? How about instead of saying guys can't read their keys, we talk about Terrence Mitchell, who's a veteran corner who's playing too hard of a corner and giving an easy throw on the ocean touchdown to Mo Alley Cox. Let's do those things, right? Defensively, defensively, that, that's, it's embarrassing and it should be unacceptable, right? And then offensively, we've talked about this. I don't want to beat the dead horse of a lack of physicality. Go ahead and beat it. But, but here's the deal. You got a, you got a guy that, that you've tabbed as a captain. David Johnson was a captain for the Houston Texans last night. Or yesterday, and he flat out turned down contact. Show that is a moment like I'm gonna tell you what I played with Emmitt Smith. I know Emmitt's a Hall of Famer, but I played with him at a point in his career where he wasn't one of the better running backs in the league. But what Emmitt Smith could do 
was he would pick up other guys' blitz responsibility. The left tackle would blow some. Emmett would go over there and, and just and, and just get all up underneath their chin and, and block them. Right? It's not. It's it's not. It's a want to. It was a safety that came down, came from about six yards deep when the ball was snapped. David Johnson saw him coming. He swung outside the tackle, and David he he, he swung out there. And, and the guy literally cut inside, and David Johnson must have closed his eyes because he just completely olayed the block. Well, guess what the situation was, show? Most ba- – like, if you're playing an tailback in – a third down back in the NFL, you want a safety. You want a 190-pound DB to come in there trying to turn the corner to get to your quarterback so you can clip him under the chin and just decleave him and, and put it in his mind. Like, come in here if you want to, but you're playing with big boys. This is, this is painful in here. And you tell the defensive coordinator, bring that safety blitz if you want to because you're leaving those guys on the island. We're going to pick it up, and we're going to pick you apart. Right? You want to talk about problems not, not converting points, like, like getting points into drives? Well, here's a situation. Ball's on the 46-yard line. There's 18 seconds left in the first half. You've driven probably 35, 40 yards, right? Third and four, you're in a good situation. You're in third and four. Hell, you can go for it on fourth down if you'd like. Third and four, right? You drop back. David Johnson, Olay's a block, completely turns down the contact. Your quarterback takes a sack, and you wonder why you can't convert drives into field goals and drives into touchdowns. He saw it coming. He slid out, and the guy cut inside, and he just kind of tried to throw a shoulder into him instead of sinking his weight and literally putting his face mask in between his pads and lighten him up. Because you were pretty strong on the postgame show last night. You told Sean you felt like that should have ended his evening. I played on football teams. In fact, I don't know that I've ever played on a football team where that was acceptable. I played on a five and 11, three five and eleven teams in Dallas. Like you do that right there, you don't want to see you don't want to see the OC when you. Or you damn sure didn't want to see the running back coach when you come to the sideline. That's for damn sure, right? I mean, that, and they just trot him back out there, and then they don't even mention it. This is a captain. Like, not only is it obvious that it's acceptable because you keep throwing him out there, yeah. But but hell, you're rewarding it. Like the, the, to me, offensively. The lack of physicality has just gone to a whole nother level. It's, it's, we talk about the offensive line a lot, but, but that, that's a perfect example of David Johnson and just how it's accepted, right? It's accepted. You can have a bad, you can have a bad day at practice throughout the week, and, yes, it's going to be on the inactive list. Yes. Right? But you, you, you. you can go out there, fumble a couple of times, go the wrong way on a run play, and Olay and get your quarterback, quarterback killed, killed in, a, in a critical situation when you got points. And oh, you got running backs, you know what he said today? Cut my man Carly. Oh, running backs, they do a good job. They do a good job. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Well, we know we know at least what you watched, at least one of them didn't. Well, there's them. David Johnson's the one that went the wrong way on the run. Yeah. In a critical situation. Because they were they were across the the fifty going in, right? David Johnson's the one that, that fumbled that got turned over, luckily, right? David Johnson's the one that ended up fumbling. Right? And and look, I, fumbles happen. I get it. It's going the wrong way and, and Olay in the pass block that for me, I just go, hey. That right there, I got to meet you at the numbers, boss. Like, we're, you want to talk about critical situations? Yeah, sit down. That's it. I mean, that, that, those kind of things are unacceptable to me, man. Defensively, you got guys that can't can't do the simple things savagely well in cover two, and offensively, you, you've got you've got a a. I mean, you're on life support. You 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 you're, you got you got a group that does not like to be physical, does not want to be physical, and those are the two things that we that that needs to be addressed post game not the penalties when you have four and the quarterback who's a rookie that throws an interception